What you see here is the first video of Walt as an animatronic. It has generated dozens of comments and above all, many questions. Why did we design Walt like that? Who built him? How does he work? When will he be finished? All of this and more will be clarified today. Today is a very special day. We've reached 400,000 subscribers. Yay! I'm proud. You're everything I knew you can be. Thank you so much for all your support over the years. We also like to extend our gratitude to our patrons and members. You guys are the best. To celebrate, we have some exciting news related to Walt. But first, here's Walt to answer all your questions about him and the channel. Thank you very much for that fantastic introduction. You're welcome. And thank you for all your questions. If I didn't answer any of them, I'll probably do so in a short video or in another session like this. So please leave all your questions in the comments. Boy, there's a lot of questions to answer. Let's start with a question from Kit Kat TV Fox Leader. What was the motivation to make Walt? Luce and Sauko's primary motivation was to create a mascot that represents everything Fast Pass Facts stands for. Our channel is one of the leading channels discussing animatronics on YouTube, so it was natural for the channel to create its own animatronic. Walt represents our love for animatronics and the Duck Squad, our community. Tunibird2468 asks, When did you become the Fast Pass Facts mascot? My first appearance was in May 2020, four years ago, in the video Cutest Animatronics Part 3. If you notice, my design was a bit different back then. I was simply a duck. Over time, my voice and design changed drastically, which I'll discuss in the next question. Asked by BunnyBlue2956, How was the development of the Walt animatronic? He looks so cool and I would love to find out more about him. Thank you so much, you're the best. My development has been quite an adventure. As I mentioned earlier, my initial design was just an ordinary duck, but it was then decided that I wasn't a duck, but an animatronic. My name is Walt in honor of Walt Disney, and my second design is based on abandoned animatronics like Max from Country Bear Jamboree or the Sea Serpents from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Submarine Voyage. That's why my neck and legs are exposed so people understand that I'm an animatronic, not a duck. After finalizing the design, it was decided that Walt should become an animated host on our channel. But after some time, Luz and Sauko decided it was time to bring me into the real world. That's when they decided to ask Luna's Puppets for help to create me. Luna's Puppets has worked with renowned artists like Katy Perry and companies like Universal Studios, among others, to create puppets and animatronics, making them the ideal choice. I'll talk more about this in the next question from Fazbear Entertainment Movies. How many days did it take to build you? It took many days and weeks, to be precise two and a half years. You might wonder why it took so long. It was due to Luna's puppets having a lot of important projects scheduled. But fortunately, towards the end of last year, they managed to find time to complete me. And at the beginning of this year, I was finally finished. I'll continue with the next question from Bat Dragon Studios. How did you make Walt? Like, what materials did you use and stuff? I'll give you a simplified overview of the process used to create me. First, my form was hand sculpted to create the mold for my face skin which is made of a material called flex foam. Then, all my mechanisms, such as my eyes, were designed using Fusion 360 from Autodesk to ensure they were functional before being 3D printed. I operate using servos, specifically the HS645MG servos. My power source consists of two 6V200 Ma rechargeable batteries. I am an animatronic puppet and can also be programmed with Arduinos and software like Botango. But for now, I'll be controlled by two remote controls. One controls my wings and eyelids, while the other manages the movements of my head and mouth. That's essentially how I was made and how I operate. Depscott4551 asks, how big will the FastPass Facts animatronic be? The dimensions of my box for shipping are 36 inches by 18 by 24, and I weigh around 18 pounds. Once Luz and Sauko bring me home, we'll know my final size. Let's move on to the next question by Peapod Maker. Will you have your own backstory like the spirit Halloween character animatronics? Yes, indeed. My lore is being created by my parents, Luz and Sauko, but I can give you a sneak peek. It involves park conspiracies, abandoned Disney animatronics, and I can tell you that according to my lore, I'm the smartest animatronic in the world, which is why I can answer all your questions. Next, we have a question from Glitcher4651. What gave you the idea to have a duck? Or why do you both love ducks? Well, as you know, 
Luce and Sauto are huge Disneyland fans, and Disneyland is a sanctuary for ducks. You can see them everywhere. They're an icon of the parks. During a live stream at Disneyland, a guest was bothering some ducks, and Luce and Sauto got mad when they saw this. That's when the Duck Squad was born. Since that moment, we've sworn to protect all ducks and members of this community. Next up is a question from Hunter the Hero. Why do you love animatronics so much? I've already answered this in a short video, but it all started with our love for attractions like Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion. We find it incredible how programming, engineering, and plastic arts can be combined to bring these creations to life. It's our favorite field, and the achievement of creating these machines will never cease to amaze us. We have a question from Fatfiber8096. Will there be a way to see the Walt animatronic in person? Yes, there will be. I'm entirely mobile since I operate on batteries. The plan is for me to attend various expos with my parents, Luz and Sauko. The first of these will hopefully be D23 in August. We might even organize our first FastPass Facts meet and greet, but it's not officially confirmed yet. Now next question from at Patricia Valencia, 5,687. To all the team, you have planned to make more animatronics in the future? Yes, our idea is to create all of our mascots. We have just purchased a 3D printer to make armor and different costumes for me. Additionally, in the future, we plan to start creating our own animatronics. Lastly, we have a question from Irano Yoshi. How did you get into animatronics so much? Do you like how you turned out in the end? Well, we started this channel with the dream of sharing park tips. But over time, the channel evolved thanks to the community's interest in more complex aspects like ride histories and obscure animatronic details. We began researching obscure animatronic facts and details, which has led us to become one of the leading channels in terms of animatronics. We're thrilled to have such a passionate community who shares our love for this world. Thank you for all the questions. Please leave more questions below, and I'll answer them in a short or in another Q&A session. Now, let's return to Luce and Sauko for the special announcement. Thank you so much, Walt. And now, the special announcement. We want to let you know that Walt is finally finished, as he said before, and he's coming home really soon. In just a few weeks, we're going to pick him up and do a special unboxing. We can't wait for all of you guys to see Walt in action. Thank you so much, and see you next week.